constitutional reform, the debt restructuring, state owned enterprises, decentralization, tax reform, court system, reform monitoring framework. We finished the restructuring of the sovereign debt. Shadow economy, corruption, the old bureaucracy is over bureaucratization, schemes, over regulation, populism, personal political ambitions. High taxes, glitches in the system, individual interest groups. Ukr Avtador, the Electro Tejmash, Ukr Zaleznitsev, Ukr Him Transamiak, Dakle Pukrainen. Uh, in some cases, when we analyze a certain issue, we realize that we cannot reform a certain area. We need to kill it completely and build a new thing from scratch. Easiest is to do nothing, sit on the hands, and then uh, obviously it's going to be difficult uh, to make any mistakes. The uh, changes, which are a major structural change in the way we think and in the way our economy has to function. These changes are painful. The average people do not like me at all. They're putting things that will be absolutely difficult to change. But I think we have to compare what would have been had we not done these things. There is a lot of criticism because the public would like to have everything today, right now. And we have big expectations from our donors and our foreign partners. There is a lot of cynicism that it's not going to happen, it's impossible, but we are doing it already. You know, things don't happen as quickly as you'd like them to, but it's a step-by-step -step process, so... We just need time to get everything done. At the 2nd of December, I was voting in the, in the Rada, in the Parliament, and 3rd of December, journalists asked me, what have you done already? And the second day when I entered the ministry. It takes time, unfortunately, and there is a lot of impatience. Every single company continues to be run in the interest of private uh, individuals, unfortunately. Almost every single state-owned enterprise sells goods through all kinds of middlemen company registered in offshore zones. They also purchase a lot of inputs through companies controlled by them at inflated prices. Well, we found out huge issues of how many elevators have been stolen. The Electro Tejmash, only on one contract, Top management of the company has stolen about three quarters of the annual profits. Ukr Him Transamiak, some wrongdoings on a large scale have been happening. And I told the CEO to write a resignation letter, but I received a text message from one of the famous politicians uh, the following uh, evening that uh, I should not be uh, dealing uh, in this way, if I'm a team member. In the companies that I supervise as a minister, I have a lot of issues with acting CEOs. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, I cannot fire people at all for a long period of time because they go on a sick leave or someone shows up and says that, don't do that. People go to any kind of uh, Law companies go to the court and trying actually to avoid uh, firing them. Sometimes it takes up to half a year. So we're in a pre-election period where populism is rampant. The way how people behaved in the parliament was disgusting. A lot of deputies, they support what we do, but at the same time they all warn me that Andre. Nothing personal, but, but there may be glitches in the system when the bills hit the floor in the parliament. We expect a second reading uh, still this summer. Unfortunately, parliamentarians left on holiday before the law on public procurement was uh, voted. So it was not again voted yesterday. It was not voted today, again for some reasons completely unknown to us. Look, it's a process. Unfortunately, despite the fact that I call myself a technocrat, I'm a politician. And uh, no matter how good the reform is, it has to be communicated properly to the deputies, to other people involved, to the uh, community in general.
This is not an autocracy. We are a participatory democracy, which means that we have a coalition government and a coalition in parliament with a variety of interests who need to be convinced, cajoled, educated, and brought on board, which is a long and, and difficult process. This is not Georgia after the Rose Revolution, and there's no way to compare it to that. The restructuring of the sovereign debt something we've been working on for well, practically six months now. Record figures for the experts is in the history of Ukraine. The second tranche of the IMF program. Savings of a public money. You can't kick back to the electronic system. Public procurement. Prozoro. Prozoro, uh, portal. Over years, uh, governments have collected advanced tax payments from businesses. But this week, we took a very specific step for one set of taxes to eliminate this uh, it's a way that we are increasing the fairness between uh, the government and the taxpayers. Communicating is actually a weakness, weak point. I think we're losing communications war to the populists, to our enemies uh, to a certain extent. How can we communicate to the people what's really happening and why we think what's happening is the right thing? We will see results like one, two, three years and it's critical to get people to see the results. People understand. They are willing to wait unless they see the light at the end of the tunnel. Those are very influential people with very large financial resources, and either they are no longer in politics for whatever reason, or they are even still in politics. Uh, those type of people normally uh, control uh, indirectly very large uh, state-owned enterprises and they are not interested at all in any changes. And this is exactly the type of problem with, that we started to tackle. And immediately we got a lot of negative publicity in the media for the uh, stuff that we do because those people just end up uh, owning some of the media uh, sort of a resources. Uh, the biggest issue is that middleman that has been created by the system that schemes the creams. The old bureaucracy is extremely wealthy. Uh, they created schemes. Those schemes take cash flows from state-owned companies, from the budget, and made those bureaucrats multimillionaires. I'm taking them out of their business, and they're extremely upset, and they're spending enormous amounts of money to battle my initiatives in courts, through press, and through other means. They have everything to lose. They can be 40 and they're already retired happily, living in Monaco or somewhere else. I'm sorry that I'm the reason for their early return from retirement. The people who put their personal political ambitions higher than the common ambitions for the state. I want my idea to be the first. I am not taking any compromises. There are many, but if I have to choose one, it's populism, populists. And it doesn't mean it's one or another party. Uh, but it does mean people who are searching for individual solutions to individual interest groups' problems rather than for systemic solutions to solve the general Ukrainian problems that we face. As the average citizen hears those things, and it's simple to say, ah, oh, that's right, we should pay no taxes, or we shouldn't have to pay for gas, it's free. So we have to change the people. Of the 45 people in previous department, we fired all but 10 and added 50 new. Absolutely new professionals who are young and willing to change and create something for Ukraine. Uh, we also get a lot of support from uh, the economic experts in Ukrainian society who are very interested in helping us get the message across. People who are not simply talking in the kitchen mm -hmm. and talking about how everything is bad, people who are willing to change and do something. And we give this opportunity. And here it's really working ministry. You, you, you cannot find so many people smoking uh, downstairs or, or doing nothing. Everybody is working. Many people now here are proud that they're working in the Ministry of Agri. If, you, if we change here people on the top level, 
in the ministry in level of deputies of the minister departments and uh, we should also understand that it takes some time to change people in the region it's the greatest concern right now fair compensation of the new bureaucrats and we cannot create a new system because there is no fair compensation the ministry is currently run by volunteers that make two hundred dollars a month they came from business where they used to make much more. We have to increase the salaries finally. Most of them came on my promise uh, to have a statewide fund for new bureaucrats and I've been promising it for more than seven months already. Some people are leaving. We are feeding 140 million people. I'd like in 10 years plus to feed more than 300 million people on the planet. I want to have European quality roads in seven years' time across the country. That's, that's my dream. The dream is to restore real economic growth to Ukraine, to enable increased salaries and wages, to increase consumer purchasing power, to increase jobs, to increase investment, domestic and foreign, to return to a healthy economy. I want to see the country that would capitalize on invention that changed the world globally. I want us not to be just outsourcing. I want us to be research and development center for the world. To improve uh, uh, investment climate in this country and fight corruption. And I hope that one day when uh, we all uh, go abroad, we only hear good things about Ukraine and what looked like as a corrupt uh, you know, and backward country has become into an example of how quick changes are possible. A lot of people don't realize that things have changed in this country. Procurements are transparent. And whoever gives the lowest price wins. That's it, nothing else. And unfortunately, some people just don't get it. They think that it's still possible to do their thing the old way. And they're trying to find people who they can bribe, and if they cannot find anyone, they go to AMC or to courts, and they try to stop procurements, and they just think that things didn't change. Things changed, period. It's absolutely another approach. I'll be here. <laughs> we are here only nine months. All the good forces need to unite. Everybody who'd like to join us, please join us. Uh, we will prevail. Perfect. Thank you. Everything is good. Well, if you could bring coffee, that would be great.